Congratulations on your purchase of Easy Worship. My name is Dan, and I'd like to take a few minutes to walk you through some of the basics of Easy Worship to help you get started and on your way to creating seamless and powerful presentations for your worship services. Before we get started, if you haven't installed Easy Worship yet, be sure and click the download link in the email you received when you purchased. Or you can head on over to support.easyworship.com in your web browser and click on Downloads. Then click the button to download Easy Worship. Open the downloaded file and follow the prompts to get it installed. If it prompts you to restart the computer, go ahead and do that. Once installation is completed, you should see an Easy Worship icon on your Windows desktop. Double click the icon to open Easy Worship and follow along. When Easy Worship opens, you'll see a registration screen. To register Easy Worship, click the link that says Log in to connect. Retrieve registration info. Enter in the email address and password on your licensed account and click Log in. Once you're logged in, make sure the organization listed is the one that Easy Worship is licensed to. It should be the defaulted selection, but if for some reason it's not showing the correct organization, click the drop down arrow and select the organization you want to log into. Then click Complete Login. The final screen will now show your license details at the top and the organization and email address you're connected to. You are now registered. Click Continue to close the registration window and continue on into the Easy Worship program. You'll notice now that it's registered, the Easy Worship watermark is gone from the live output screen. Now that you have Easy Worship installed and registered, let's go over a few basics of the program to get you started, beginning with the layout and different views available. With Easy Worship open, you'll see the standard menus in the top left corner. Below that is a shortcut toolbar with buttons to create new schedules, songs, and presentations. Open and save schedules, access the Easy Worship Media Store and web, and set up the remote control for our mobile app. Over to the right side of this toolbar are shortcuts for controlling your live output. Go Live for sending whatever is selected to the live output, Alerts for quick messages, Logo Black and Clear, and a Live On and Live Off toggle button. At the bottom of the screen is your resource area, which gives you access to your song database, scriptures, media, presentations, and themes. Resources will always be available at the bottom, no matter what view you're in. The layout of the rest of your Easy Worship control screen will depend on what view you currently have selected. Click the View menu at the top to select a view. With Preview and Live selected, you'll see a schedule on the left, the Preview in the middle, and Live on the right. The Schedule window is where you'll add items from your resources to create a schedule based on what you're doing in your service. The Preview window will give you a preview of whatever you have selected in your schedule or resources, and the Preview Output window will display whatever slide is selected in your Preview window. The Live Output window is showing what you are currently sending live, and the Live window will show all available slides in that item that you can display live. With Preview and Live combined selected, the schedule is still on the left, but the Live Output window is now in the top left corner above the schedule and shows what is currently live. The Preview and Live window is on the right side. This window will preview anything you select in your schedule or resources, but will send it live by a single click on any item in that window. 
With Live with Resource Preview selected, the Schedule window is still on the left, but now your preview window is in the bottom right corner in the Resource area. So whatever resource you select will be previewed there. The Live output is on the right and displays what is currently live. The Center window is live and shows all available slides in that item that you can display live. All windows can be resized by clicking and dragging any border. The interface color can also be changed between dark and light under the view menu. Easy Worship comes installed with a database of demo songs but more than likely, you're going to want to add more of your own songs to that list. There's more than one way to add a new song to Easy Worship, and I'll go over each one with you. Typing a song manually may be the least likely way to add a song to your database, but it's the most basic. To type in a song, you need to open the song editor by clicking the New button in the top left corner and select New Song. The new song editor opens to a single blank slide, and you'll see two sections. On the left, there are three tabs, Words, Slides, and Masters. The Words tab shows the slide labels and the actual text for the song. To type in a song manually, click in the Label field for slide 1 and type in a slide label if you want one. For example, if this is going to be a verse, I can type in verse 1. By default, the slide labels will not show up on the slide. Labels come in handy when operating Easy Worship in a live setting. It makes it easy to tell what the slide is. If you don't want a label, you can leave it blank. To enter the actual lyrics that will show up on the slide, click the song field and start typing in your song. Or if you have text copied to your clipboard, you can paste it here. If you're pasting text and want to make sure none of the formatting from another program carries over, right-click and select Paste Without Formatting. To start a new slide, either press Ctrl plus Enter on the keyboard, or click the plus button in the bottom left corner. When you're finished, type in the song title in the title field, and click OK to save the song in your database. To import a song from a text file or an RTF file, you'll need to open a new song editor first. Click the New button on the toolbar and select New Song. In the Song Editor window, click the Import button at the top left of the toolbar. Select the correct format from the File Type box at the bottom right. Browse to and select your file and click Open. Type in the song title in the Title field and click OK to save the song in your database. To import a song from Song Select Lyric Service, you'll need to have a subscription for that through CCLI. Click the New button on the toolbar and select New Song from Song Select. Click Sign In at the top and sign in to your account. Use the search or database filters available from Song Select to find the song that you want to import. Click the Lyrics icon for that song, or if you're already in the song, click Lyrics. Now click Import in the top right hand corner to add the song to your Easy Worship database. If you want to go ahead and add the song to your schedule, click Schedule. When you're finished, click Close to exit the web browser. If you have videos, images, or audio files on your computer that you want to be able to use in Easy Worship, you can add them to the Media tab. Click the Media tab and select Videos, Images, or Audio on the left, depending on what you want to add. Then right-click anywhere in the library on the right side and select Import New Video, Image, or Audio File. Since I have images selected, it says Import New Image File. 
Browse to and select the image or images you want, and click Open to add them to your resources. Any video or image you add can be set as your logo for when you click the Logo button on the top toolbar. Just right-click on it and choose Set as Logo Background. Building a schedule in Easy Worship is as simple as dragging and dropping items from the resource area to your schedule area. The schedule is a playlist where you will include all the items you will be using during a particular service. When you launch Easy Worship, it will open to a blank schedule on the left side of the screen. Or if you have a schedule open already and want to start a new schedule, click the New button on the toolbar and select New Schedule. You can start and add anything you want from your resources, but I'll start building a schedule by adding some songs. You can search for songs by title. Easy Worship will auto-complete the closest match alphabetically while you type. When you find the song you want, you can simply drag and drop it to the schedule area. If you have the live output turned off, meaning the live button in the top right corner is not flashing, you're in schedule building mode, and double-clicking the song will add it to the schedule. Change the search option to a contextual search by clicking on the search icon and type in a word or phrase. There's also a drop-down for a more refined search. Next, I'll add scriptures. From the scriptures tab, you can select the translation you want on the left. Again, Easy Worship auto-completes the book name as you type it in the search box. So start typing the book name until it fills in and then use the spacebar to advance to the chapter. Type in the chapter, then use the spacebar again to advance to the verse number and type in the verse. Drag and drop the scripture from the resource area into the schedule. If you want to add multiple verses at once, you can type them in the search or use the control or shift keys to select more than one. To change the search option to search contextually for a keyword or phrase, click the search icon to change to a magnifying glass. Click on the Media tab and from the left side of the resource area, you can select videos, images, feeds, DVD, or audio, and drag and drop any of these resources to your schedule. You can also easily change the background of songs, scriptures, or Easy Worship presentations from the Media tab by dragging and dropping a video, image, or feed on top of the item in the schedule. If a different background is desired for each slide, expand the item in the schedule by clicking the arrow to the left of it and drag and drop different videos, images, or feeds to each slide. Easily attach an audio file to a song, scripture, or Easy Worship presentation by dragging and dropping it onto the item in the schedule from the Audio tab. Any presentation you've created in Easy Worship, like looping announcements or sermon slides, or any PowerPoint presentations you've added here can be dragged and dropped into the schedule from the Presentations tab. Also, from the Themes tab, you can drag and drop song themes onto songs in the schedule, scripture themes to scriptures in the schedule, and presentation themes to Easy Worship presentations in the schedule. Rearrange the order of the schedule by dragging and dropping, and when expanding a song, scripture, or Easy Worship presentation, you can rearrange your slides in any order you want. To save the schedule, click on the File menu, then Save Schedule or Save Schedule As, or click the Save button on the toolbar. Choose the location you want to save the schedule file and give it a name. If you're transferring this schedule to use on a different computer, you'll want to keep the box checked at the bottom to pack files in schedule, so everything is sure to work. If you'll be using this schedule on the same computer it was created on, 
you can uncheck this box to save hard drive space. Then click Save. To open a saved schedule, click on File, Open Schedule, select your schedule and click Open, or you can click the Open button on the toolbar and select it from the Recent list. Now, select the first item and click Go Live. Now that you have the basics of Easy Worship down, it's time to operate Easy Worship in a live setting. If you have a schedule open, you can start your service by selecting the first item in the schedule and clicking Go Live. Make sure your Live button in the top right corner is flashing, indicating that your live output is on. If you're in the Live with Resource Preview or the Preview and Live views, Easy Worship will send your selected item to your live output and will also automatically queue up the next item in the schedule so that when you're ready for it, you'll just need to click Go Live. To navigate the current live item, if there are multiple slides, you can click the desired slide in the live window to display it on your screen. When you're finished with the current item, Click Go Live to send the next scheduled item to your screen, and so on. If you're in the Preview and Live Combined view, Easy Worship will not queue up the next scheduled item when you go live. When you're ready for the next item, you'll need to select it in the schedule and then click Go Live. You can also use the Logo, Black, and Clear buttons to show the logo, black out the screen, or clear the text from the live slide. If you haven't created a schedule and just want to go live directly from the resources, you can go to the Songs, Scriptures, Media, or Presentations tabs and double-click what you want to send to your live screen, or select your item and click Go Live. You now have the knowledge you need to get started with Easy Worship. For more training, Check out all our other videos on our website at training.easyworship.com. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Easy Worship.